You are watching Jimadesan Total Nerdy Channel and today we're going to wipe a computer using a red key USB. Jimadesan. This is an updater tool which puts software on the drive and activates it. You'll need to download this. When you've downloaded a file, you need to run it. Select your language of choice and click OK. Now you may plug in your red key. And click refresh. Select the drive. Now we can activate the key. Scratch the back of the packaging to see your activation code and write it in here. Then you can click activate. Now you may update the software. Accept the terms and click OK. Now you can proceed. And now you can see that the red key isn't empty anymore. It's now filled with software. Now we have successfully prepared our red key USB. Let's take this red key and wipe an old computer and just get rid of everything on it. So let's go. So uh, I'm going to insert the red key here like that. Now when we start the computer, we need to press a hotkey to get into the boot menu. This hotkey is dependent on what the manufacturer is. For Acer, it's usually F12 or sometimes Escape. And you can just Google up your manufacturer and see what the boot key is for your particular model. In other cases, you can get into BIOS and then select the boot menu from there. So anyways, I'm gonna start this thing. And then we'll click the boot key. I'll just spam it like this. If we spam it like that, we are making sure we actually get into the boot menu in time. If it's, uh, for example, an SSD and boots pretty quickly. All right, so now we go down and select the red key and click enter. Now we can just let it run through some code. So just select a graphical user interface and it will select it automatically if you don't do anything. There we can change the resolution, but if we don't do anything, we get to the default resolution. All right, let's select uh, English here. So here we go. Can you see the screen? Screen is indeed okay. All right, disks ready. So here we can go to this little menu. It's pretty stressful like this, but we have uh, the default disk selected already. But we can go to uh, advanced settings and select uh, disk selection and, uh, well, basically um, change anything here if we need to. But uh, we don't need to do that because we only have one disk here and it's uh, automatically selected it. All right, so we just don't need to change anything here and we can just click start. It's gonna take 130 minutes, so that's a lot of minutes, but um, just as easy like that. All right, now we've got some groovy screensavers and some groovy music going on there. So, well, you can turn that off in the settings when you set up the key if you want to, but it's pretty handy. and. As you can see, it's immensely easy to just uh, delete the disk because you basically just uh, insert a key and if you don't do anything, it basically just deletes it automatically, basically. Of course, you have to be with it when uh, you set it up and make sure that everything is correct, but it's basically just insert it, make sure you boot from the red key USB and then you'll get into delete mood. Um, automatically if you don't do anything else. For most people, you just insert it like this and uh, you automatically get to the delete sequence. Um, it's a little bit stressful when you go with these timers going on here, so that's a little bit scary, but it's scary because it is scary. Um, it deletes your data forever and uh, make sure you have backed up your data because on this point, uh, if you have any regrets, you basically can't stop it. it. It has started to delete the data and it will be gone forever. So um, make sure you, that you back up your stuff be before you get to this point.
And there we have it. Now we come to this little screen which says data wiped with a nice little animation and everything. So there we have it. It's completely done. Took two hours and seven minutes so that's nice and it's absolutely wiped. And now we can just click exit. How about restart? And here we have just a blinking screen. We won't get any further than this because, uh, well, the default boot device was the HDD and that's completely wiped now. And we spam F12 to get to the boot menu again. And here we can select different boot devices again. So for example, now we can install another operating system and then we would go in here and boot from the operating system's uh, USB or CD drive to install it. And there we have it. This red key just completely wiped that computer and that information will be lost forever. In any case, this is your host, Jim Odesim, and I'm signing out.